Hey everybody, it's Mama J, and I am here with my record friend. All right, guys, so I bought this thing and it's called My Record Friend. And it's a vinyl cleaning system for all different sizes. It's supposed to be really easy to use. It says clean your whole collection in one go with the Big Fudge Record Friend. Two soft velvet brushes together with our specially formulated cleaning solution will pick up dirt dust hiding deep in the grooves of your record. Woohoo! So let's open this up. Cleaning fluid, rain odors, rain odor, read the odor. Um, cleaning fluid, okay. Are these both the same? This one is cleaning fluid also. So maybe they give me two. All right, let's see. I have some cloths. Oh, another type of cloth. And then I have the actual system here. The owner's manual. So this is supposed to be everything because it's supposed to be so that you can store it nice and easily. So let's give it a check out and see here. Right at the top comes off. Drew what that's from. Oh, I see. It probably goes on one of those, but I don't see that. You have a business card inside. Okay, let's see here. Oh, okay. Yes, it opens up. Oh, yeah, look at it. There we go. So this comes up off this because this is to hold your records while they dry. Okay. And then this right here, uh, if you see, it's like a tray. So this is your actual tray. And these will relocate based on the size of album that you're going to use, okay? So let's see how much cleaning fluid I'm supposed to put in here. Okay, so the directions say, getting started, remove the lid from the Big Fudge Friend, which we did. Okay, we've, we've separated that, we've done all that. Insert the two brushes into the track in the middle of the wash basin and push all the way down. Okay, so I'm assuming Okay, that's these And they were actually already put in to the middle of the track here And you get two of them So they slide right in there And you just push them all the way down so that both brushes are right there Okay and I see that there are more of these things right here. All right, so just some extra plastic tips in case, I don't know, in case one of those come up missing. Okay, all right, so now it says washing your records. Fill the record friend with distilled. Oh, okay, I was about to say. Okay, it says fill. Fill the record friend with distilled water up to the bottom of the grooves, marking the outside position of the rollers. Bottom of the grooves. Boom. Okay. To the bottom of the grooves. Okay, so I'm assuming like where these dip in. Okay, let me go get the water. Okay, so we filled that up with water. I'm gonna set this to the side, but again, this is where you set the records so that they could dry. Um, and this attaches to the bottom of this bath thing, whatever it's called. So <laughs> it attaches to the bottom of the actual basin right here. So, and then the record drying thing actually will snap into the bottom for storage purposes. Okay. Okay, once you've finished, remove the brushes from the basin and wash gently in warm water. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Okay, um, pour three capfuls 
directly over the brushes in the washing basin. Okay. It is called a basin. <laughs> So if it's only three, that's quite a bit that I should get out of those, correct? All right, washing basin, insert record in between rollers, rotate the record three times clockwise, and then counterclockwise also three times. Using microfiber cloth, gently remove your record from the record friend, then wipe it with the pre-washing drying towels um, in a clockwise motion. Mm -hmm. Oh, each washing cycle, should clean 30 to 50 albums. Alrighty then, well, let's give it a shot. Okay, so um, we're gonna use these albums here that I got the other day when I went to the local record store by me. And um, I paid like a buck a piece for these albums. So they weren't cleaned, they weren't tested, nothing. So we're gonna look at them and then we're gonna check this thing out, right? So I'm randomly gonna grab one and boom, oh. <laughs> First one we grabbed was Barry Manilow. This is Barry Manilow. This one's for you. Pretty cool, it still has the plastic on it and this literally was a dollar. I paid a dollar for this. Um, it does just have the regular white paper. A little bit of rip on this side. So let's pull the album out here and take a look at it. Okay, so this album, if we look at it, I don't know if you can see, has a bunch of fingerprints and I don't see any scratches though. No scratches, just a bunch of fingerprints. So let's let's give it a shot. All right, so first we're gonna insert it. Okay. And then I need to get my two cloths here. And I think that's gonna be the big thing. Oh, you can't even see me behind the album. Can you, can you see me? Huh. Actually, I don't even think you see the album. <laughs> move this down a little. There we go. Let's see, okay, so I got the one cloth right here. This is the one we'll use to remove. And then this other one here. is the the drying cloth that's much thicker okay all right now it says three times clockwise and then counterclockwise okay so let's go okay so that's three so now it says to go back the other way popping out. I don't know if it's because that's the way we're going or what, so I'm not really sure. All right. Okay, so now this is the one we use to remove it, and that's the one we're going to use to dry it. Move this camera just a tad so you can see when I pull it up. And it does... Go ahead. Okay, so we're gonna let that one dry and let's see, let's go ahead and grab another one. And we got Three Dog Night. This one is a one, opens up. Um, you can see that it's becoming very, very weak right here. But I get it. Okay, so let's, again, I paid a dollar for this. So we're gonna pull the album out here. Oh, it does have an insert, um, but no lyrics. It's a paper insert. All right. So let's take a look at this album and see what it looks like. All right, you see that? Actually, this one's not too bad. 
A little mark right there. We're mostly, again, just dust and fingerprints, so we're just going to clean that up. So we will insert it. Okay, and then we're going to go clockwise three times. All right, so we've done two of them so far. So now let's take a look. Oh, I'm a little blurry. All right, so let's uh, go ahead and give another one a shot. Give those ones time to dry. But you get to see what I bought for a dollar. Little river band. <laughs> Got this one for a dollar too. Pretty cool. Love being able to pick up, ooh, and a score. Look at that. Nice picture and lyrics. Always a score when we get lyrics, right? Always. So let's take a look at this album and see what it's looking like. Again, uh, mostly just dusty. None of these were that bad. I mean, for a dollar. So let's go ahead and do this one. I usually just pull it up, let it drip a little because it actually does drip. I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't want to go too far from the actual basin because I don't want to drip all over everything. So I usually just do that and then I run this around just to get the majority of the water off, right? Flip it around the other way. Same thing. Clockwise. Okay. And then I put it right over here in the little drying rack to give it time to dry. So... All right, so that seems to be going pretty well. I'm not really sure if you could tell. I don't know if the water's filthy, but it says it can do, what did I say earlier? 30 to 50 albums? <laughs> We've only done three. So let's give it another shot. Let's see what else we got for a dollar. Oh, what did we get? Oh, look at there, we got Cher. Dark Lady, Train of Thought, I Saw a Man, he danced with his wife, and no lyrics, just this lead. So let's pull the album out here, take a look at it. You know, again, these were a dollar. They didn't. They even told me they didn't test them. They don't clean them. When they're a dollar, they just throw them in that bin. If they get around to testing or cleaning them, then they're re-categorized into the other bins. So it's best to get them like this. All right. So let's take a look at this one. Again, you can see all the dust and all the fingerprints. Hopefully, we'll be able to see the difference once we get one dry in here. Let's put this one in. Let's give it a spin. My cat's toys down there. I don't see a cat down there half the time. All right. All right, so let's take a look at the first one and see if we can see a difference. But maybe we should grab one more. Maybe try to kind of compare them. Right, and we got the kinks. Low budget. <laughs> All right, so on this one, just paper, no lyrics. Let's see. Again, another dollar album. Can't beat these, can't beat. And these albums, I mean, seriously, I'm probably going to jinx myself, but I haven't pulled one with a scratch yet. So, okay, I don't want to um, do that. So let's see if we can get the first one we did over here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
looks, I mean... I don't know. I mean, I'm sure it's clean. Yeah. See, kind of, yeah, you can kind of tell. See how it, like, shines? And this one doesn't quite shine. I don't know if you can really tell, but this one doesn't quite shine as much. So I'm going to insert that one because that's going to be the next one that we clean. I'm going to go ahead and stick this one back on the drying tray for right now. All right, let's clean one more. So we are seeing that this is making a difference. It is taking off some of the fingerprints and the dust and probably other grime and stuff that's inside these grooves. up with this cloth <laughs> okay so likewise all right just saying i just of the liquid off so you can put it in the drying tray so they're all sitting in the drying tray all right so i think that this is it's gonna work for me it's convenient it's easy the records are sitting right here in the drying tray. We're going to put them back in their cover. I'm going to add them to my list because I do have a list. And that way I hopefully don't rebuy albums that I've already bought. And also bought sleeves for them, the ones that don't have them. I'll go ahead and put the lid on this. Now. Um, you can leave this cleaning solution up to one week if you keep the basin with the lid on. Then you're ready to go at any time. Okay, so I put the lid on it so that I can have a little bit of space here. And I'm going to hang my cloth right over the top of it. So, let's flip these around so we can see which one we started with. And we started with Barry Manilow. Now I have seen Barry Manilow in concert. Actually, at the time of filming this, he was the last concert I went to right before COVID hit and everything kind of was shut down. So, all right. So I'm going to grab that one. And that does look very nice, actually. So we're going to go ahead and slide it into the sleeve. Okay, and this one still has the plastic on it, so we're good with that. And we're going to leave it just as this, and it will go into my record storage place. Alright, next one. We are going to grab... This one is a Three Dog Night, and it has the picture on the inside. Again, it's getting a little weak on the... The spine right here you can see how how like faded and frayed it is it is going to start to come apart eventually so what we're going to do here okay so it took me a few minutes to get it but i got this these sleeves and these ones are they open for albums that open so to help kind of protect anything that's not already protected i also bought these from big fudge so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and insert this in here so that it has this as somewhat of a support. I mean, I know that, you know, it's not going to fix the problem, but it'll help with the problem a little bit. So let me get this inside here. Okay. All right. So then you're just going to pull this down. Okay. Got to kind of... There we go. And then, boom. Okay. Now, 
it does open right here too in case that's how the album opens some open there some open on the inside this happens to be one of the ones that opens on the inside so we'll go ahead and grab that album and we do have the sleeve so here is the album looks really nice cleaned up pretty good yeah no scratches for a dollar i just see one little nick right here but yeah very little so very very nice is that for a dollar very very nice okay so i'm gonna put that one back in there all right now this one is done and ready to go in to the record pile all right next one next one is the little river band all right and then i also have some single ones guys so that we can put the albums in that are single like this one that doesn't have any protection over it protect your albums <laughs> just slidey right on uh, once i figure out how it opens <laughs> Just make sure when you put it in that you put the side that opens with the side that opens, okay? Otherwise, <laughs> you might be a little confused about how you're going to get that um Look at that. And what I like about these, look at that. It's a pretty good fit. Now that's pretty nice. I like that. All right, reach over here, grab the album. All right, so I'm going to speed through the rest of these really quick. so as you've seen we've used record friend it's a great thing um i'm gonna clean clean all the rest of my one dollar album so come back check us out in some more videos and see what i got for a dollar i mean you've seen what i just showed you right the kinks um share little river band three dog night and barry manilow come on all for a buck a piece. Can't beat it. Can't beat it. So check me out in the next one, guys. Okay, and stick around. Check out my Patreons. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.